In James chapter 5, verse 16 through 18, we read, The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Elijah was a man with a nature like ours, and he prayed earnestly that it would not rain, and it did not rain on the land for three years and six months. And he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth produced its fruit. It is amazing what a prayer by faith can accomplish. All week we have been preparing for a family reunion on my wife's side. Being an outdoor event, we were keeping a very close eye on the weather forecast. Unfortunately, the weathermen were calling for some of the most severe weather to date. So severe that I believe we were under several warnings. Severe thunderstorm, tornado, and a flash flood warning. My wife prayed earnestly all week. First she prayed for no rain. Then she prayed for just rain in the morning. Then she prayed that it not rain between noon and 8 p.m. The weathermen all said that the storms would be at their worst in the afternoon. Whom do we trust? Not one drop of rain fell at the family reunion between 1 and 8 p.m. Less than 10 miles away, it poured buckets. Streets were flooding. Lightning was flashing. It seems as if everything that the weathermen predicted came true. However, when you know the one who makes the wind and the rain, it is good to know that he stretched out his hand to spare us. Coincidence? Geography? I think not. For within a few minutes of 8 p.m., it began to pour. So, Christian, what is your prayer life like? Do you have God's ear? Are you talking to him on a regular basis? Are you having belief and doubt and acting upon the belief? That's called faith. You know, we can come boldly before the throne of grace. His word empowers us to take those steps. Thusly, how's your walk with God? Are you walking toward Jesus or running away from him? Answered prayer reminds us that God is still there still listening, still moving in a great way. Why not allow yourself the blessing of being caught up in the ongoing works of our God? It is written, And if it seems evil to you to serve the Lord, choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Thank you.